Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play D Kong Racing and right off the gate we get challenged to the plane test, so let's do it. Today I'm gonna be using Pipsy. Uh, for a while Pipsy was actually uh, one of my favorite characters in this game. Uh, I don't know, it was kind of uh, I was kind of in that phase where I was like, oh, lightweight characters are always the best in racing games. Not necessarily true, but in this game, uh, she does have some really good control and acceleration. So if you do end up crashing a lot, she will easily uh, start back up again, no problem. Her only downside, I'd say, is probably her weight. She can get knocked around a lot. I mean, that shouldn't be too surprising. She's a freaking mouse, for crying out loud. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much Pipsy in a nutshell. Uh, this course is pretty similar to the hovercraft course. Only difference is, well, you're in a plane. And that's really about it. <laughs> There's literally no other difference aside from that. It's pretty much the same path, except you go through the snowy mountainside tunnel as opposed to that hidden waterfall one. But yeah, she does have some pretty good control, I must say. She's making a lot of turns that, when I was crunch earlier, no way in hell I would have been able to make those. So yeah, Pipsy is pretty cool. Wouldn't say she is my favorite character still. There is one character that is definitely my fave. We'll we'll get to him later on. Hello, friend. Bye -bye for now. So yeah, give me that uh, give me that gold balloon. Up to Twenty one now. But we're gonna go to the third world today. Did I just clip right through Taj? I totally clipped through Taj right there. But in the spirit of the third world, we're gonna go ahead and go into the hovercraft here. Because the third world is actually in this direction, in the water area of the game. This is Sherbert Island. Need 10 gold balloons to enter. Which we definitely have plenty of. And here are the four courses. We have Whale Bay, Crescent Island, Pirate Lagoon, and Treasure Caves. Let's start with uh, Whale Bay over here. Whale Bay. I really like the atmosphere of uh, some of these hovercraft courses. There's only like three hovercraft courses in the entire game. It's kind of a shame. I wish they'd maybe do a little more. I think it would have been probably nice if uh, each world had like one designated hover course and then one designated plane course. Because there are no plane courses in this area. This is like the only area that doesn't have a plane course. But yeah, that's, that's something they maybe should have done. I think differently. Just my opinion though. Also, there's this pretty nifty shortcut right here where you can go on top of the pirate ship. I always like going this way. It's a cool little shortcut you can take every now and then. Final lap? Don't mind if I do. Oh god. Careful, Pipsy, don't get frickin' knocked around everywhere. It's a very short and low-key course. The uh, second water course, which you find in this area, is definitely a bit more opened up. We'll see that later. But let's move on to Crescent Island. Crescent Island. This course can actually be kind of hard if you uh, don't know exactly what you're doing. Especially when the uh, Silver Coin Challenge comes into play. Also, there is a key here. This is, I think, where one of the most ridiculous key locations is in the entire game. Just due to how freaking out of the way it is. In fact, I think this is like the only course where 
you pretty much have to do it a second time in order to actually get the key. Let's just say it's not very accessible for the car. Let's see if you guys can actually figure it out for those who haven't played this game. If you've played this game, yeah, I think you guys probably know where it is. <laughs> not gonna lie. But I do like this course, too. It, it, it can be difficult at times, but it's a very good, uh, very good kart track. I, li I like the kart tracks that do kind of open up and you, like, have to, uh, navigate onto, like, in this case, a pirate ship. You know, stuff like that. I like little details like that in racing games. Also, music. Frickin' awesome. <laughs> Not that I really need to say that, because the freaking music in this game is awesome as it is, but this is definitely one of my favorite tracks in the game. There is a shortcut at the end here that uh, can be kind of hard to take. You have to do it in kind of one quick fluid motion, like, eh, kind of like that. But, there we go. Okay. Got the gold balloon, but we're going to go back in here so we can grab this key. Christmas Island. Thankfully, I don't have to go very far. You may be able to use the hovercraft now, too, which might make it a little faster and easier to get. But Just to uh, show you guys the pain and suffering of getting this when I was younger. Yep. There it is. I don't know, maybe you can make it back on the track in the time, but... Don't really feel like testing that theory. And there we go. The battle course for Sherbet Island is now open. We'll probably do that at the end of the video. But let's move on to the next course, Pirate Lagoon. Another course with a really freaking awesome music track. And the second hovercraft course of the game. Not sure if this, I'd say this is my favorite hovercraft course. I really like the third one whenever we get to it. I am really, really behind right now. Oh god. I am in last place. <laughs> I mean, that'll change right here. Assuming I don't screw it up, but yep, there we go. I'm gonna... Hit you in the face, Conker! Okay. Take that! Although we're probably just feeding into Conker's inner demons at this point. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Good job, Tipsy. Oh, God, I guess I could tell this story as freaking weird and dorky as it is, but hey, I mean, you guys like dorky. It is a freaking video game channel, after all. Ugh. When I was younger, like, I, you know, I had a very, very, very active imagination, so to speak. I actually always pictured if this, uh, if this game had, like, a cartoon show of some sort, like a Diddy Kong Racing cartoon show. And, uh, back then I actually thought Conker was a female. <laughs> and, uh, I, 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 like, always thought of, like, there was, like, some kind of love triangle between Diddy Kong, Pipsy, and Conker. <laughs> It was so ridiculous. Conker was kind of the, uh... Kind of the very good friend who really, really liked Diddy, but Diddy had, like, this crush on Pipsy. It was, it was stupid. It was really, really stupid. <laughs> I feel bad that I even had to mention that now. Maybe fanfiction.net could get working on that. <laughs> 
Oh god, I had to mention that. I just had to. But this is the last course. This is Treasure Caves. I always felt like Treasure Caves was like really, really easy for a third world track in the game. I don't know. I don't know. It, it just feels really, really easy. Like it shouldn't be this easy, but it is, you know. That kind of thing. I think it's because there's so many boost panels so close to each other that you reach the finish line very quickly. Usually in under like 20 seconds. Well, around 20 seconds. I thought that was the third lap, actually. Definitely not. But around, around 20 seconds. I think that's probably a good way of saying it. Some tracks go, like, ridiculously quickly due to these boost panels. And there we go, we've actually finished all the courses in Crescent Island. Made some pretty good time as well. Let's get our, uh... Get our boss on now. Oh god, this boss. <laughs> for those who have played this game, this boss is probably very notorious for you. Ah, the octopus. So what's annoying about this octopus is, unlike the first two bosses, this one actually has items. They're all uh, leave-behind projectiles. In this case, he puts down mines. But in the second race, let's just say he gains a level up in terms of his items. You, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, how did I hit that? I thought I just briefly got on the outside of that. I'm gonna need to... Oh god. I am so far behind, it's not even funny. You can kind of use the logs to uh, push yourself forward in this race. You have to, like, jump on him at just the right time. Just something you can do, I guess. Like, let's see if I can... Oh, no. That was too far over. Oh, oh my god, these mines. They always seem to be in, like, a very awkward place, too, so... This is, this is legitimately hard, especially for this point in the game. And sometimes it might actually be better to not hold on and level up your booster, just to like, uh, oh, damn it. I might have to redo this if I'm not able to pass them right here. Oh, come on, really? I was right there with him, too. Now he's gonna make me feel bad. Ugh. That voice. <laughs> I hate that voice. It seriously haunted my dreams when I was younger. Okay, let's try that again. I was ridiculously stupid on that first lap, though. I could have done that way better. Hitting those two mines is pretty much what costed me that race there. Let's be real here. I feel like once you get ahead of this guy, though, it's pretty damn easy. Oh, come on! Ugh. keep this attempt in just because I, I did all the other courses really really fast so we have a lot of time to kill okay okay I'm ahead of him it's going to be pretty easy going for the rest of this, honestly. Oh, yeah!
See, that's what you want to do with these logs. If you jump over them at just the right angle, you just get a huge propulsion forward. Screw you, Octopus. And then just the fact that he says, From my world! Like, oh my god, we know you're in control. You don't need to remind me. <laughs> okay, well, let's do this really quick. The battle course for this area is Darkwater Beach. It's the same exact game from the uh, Snow World. It's basically battle mode. Diddy Kong battle mode, as some might call it. Maybe not very many people, but... Oh, damn. This can actually be kind of tricky, because... Damn, I'm already... I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed. I am getting so destroyed right now. I'm gonna just stay away from everybody. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, they are trying to kill me. They are really trying to kill me. Oh my god! Were they just like... They had a vendetta against me. Seriously. They're like, oh, Slim Kirby is recording some Diddy Kong Racing today. Let's just freaking destroy him. He did not grab the. He did not grab this. Okay, Banjo's already been hit. That's good. Okay, I see Bumper over there. Oh, oh come on! Where the hell was that freaking missile going? Please. Ah! Why are they doing this? Stop it! <laughs> oh, at least I didn't get freaking fourth this time. Didn't get four, then my god, I feel like a loser. I'm just gonna stay the hell away from everybody at this rate. Where the hell do my missiles keep going? They're supposed to home in, and... You know, Bumper was right there, so I don't think... God, it actually went right through that log. Thank God. Ooh. Oh, it, okay, it went after Banjo. Okay, that's good. I like that. Okay, Banjo's gone. Now I have to get rid of Bumper though, and that could be that could be dangerous. Oh, screw you! Screw you! Oh my God. Okay, doing a lot better this time. I'm actually winning for one. I was so close to winning that game too. That's what's That's what was a pain about that attempt. Ow. Oh pfft. jerk. Was that Diddy Kong who did that? No, it was, it was Banjo who did that. He really uh, kinda turned that around on me. 
I think I got this, though, as long as I don't do anything stupid. I mean, hell, Diddy Kong is already down to two. I just want to get Banjos to even out the score. That did not hit him, unfortunately. You know, I'm going to go ahead and get... Oh, Diddy's already gone. <laughs> I was going to go ahead and finish him off, but Banjo was like, Oh, I'm Banjo! <laughs> I'm going to follow it. Oh, God. <laughs> he probably has a missile. He more than likely has a missile. Okay. Well, it's over. It, it is so over. Frickin' uh, Icicle Pyramid's way better than this one. <laughs> Hovercrafts were not made for battling. Shame there's no plane versions of that. I mean, there's the frickin' Egg minigame, but... Come on, that Egg minigame's not even a thing. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it, as usual. You guys are great. I love you all. And uh, I'll see you guys next time when I finish up the rest of Crescent Island. So, yeah, see you guys next time. Later, folks.